Hey guys, I'm just taking you into a dollar shop to show you guys today. It's just some fake flowers here and some beautifully coloured ornaments. And I didn't buy anything today. I, the purpose was just to take you in to show you around. Lots of cute vases and fake flowers and a beautiful big Buddha there. Some lamps as well. And I'm about to show you guys this, some really, really nice cups over here i didn't need any mugs but they were so beautiful i didn't buy anything though because i'm doing a no buy year so i didn't want to buy things i didn't need some more beautiful mugs here they were ten dollars a mug i know in america the dollar shop's relatively cheap this dollar shop is not cheap they have some really cool quirky things but i didn't find anything cheap And I'm just in the arts and crafts section. Some paddle pop sticks, some rainbow ones, some plain ones for art. Some glitter as well. I'm just taking you into the cooking section here. So I'm just eyeing that lemon cutter. And some silicone muffin tins. Again, they had a pretty good variety, but it wasn't cheap. There was a set of one metal spoon fork and knife and that was seven dollars it wasn't even a set it was just literally one spoon one fork one knife and that was seven dollars some knives there i can see wine bottle opener a peeler i mean it was very fun for me to go in and have a look around it was interesting they did have some beautiful china sets here i don't know how much this was but it was probably expensive because I had a look at this beautiful clock in this store and it was $200. I'll show you guys that towards the end of the video though. I think we're just looking at some more cooking stuff. Yeah, measuring cup, measure, measuring spoon. I think a lot of these items come from China as well. Because I did have a look at some of them. Some organising plastic tubs. And some aluminium trays. That wasn't cheap either. It's cheaper to get them on sale at Coles and Woolies. But this organiser section is pretty. I didn't get anything there. And even these little tubs, it was cheaper to get at Kmart. And there's just a kids toy section here. I didn't check out the pricing for the toys, but it is there. And here's the stationery. No, I think it's the arts and crafts section. No, it's the stationery and costumes. So there's a few kitty books here. Books to read, word searches, general diaries, exercise books. A large variety of things here. And just some more little bits and pieces, some stickers. I'm way too old for stickers and glitter glue, but I always love looking at it when I'm at the shops. They also sell some glue sticks, some little paint trays. I must say though, their art selection in this dollar store was really, really good. I'm going to show you another aisle a little bit later on. And they have all sorts of paints acrylic paint clays and all that stuff just some money saving tins here oh and if you're a candle lover this is your heaven they had a whole aisle dedicated to candles now in australia i do buy some candles from dusk and it's about 40 dollars for a candle which is quite expensive um but i do like the scents at dusk here they have some pretty good scents as well but i'm not sure if they burn as long as the candles from dusk and if the scent lasts as long but i might give it a try one day but right now i didn't purchase anything because i'm doing a no buy year and i didn't need candles that lychee candle smelled really really good they've got so many scents available I love the colours in this aisle as well. They even had some of the scented, what are they called? 
the scented aroma things that you guys can burn. Here it is. I forgot the name of it. But it's there for you guys to have a look at. Check out how long this aisle is. It's full of candles, guys. And here is the arts and crafts section, I believe. Yes, so there's like sketchbooks, colouring in books, art cards, visual art diaries, sketch pads, general diaries. And here's the acrylic paint, I believe. Very, very large selection and there's even more down towards the end. They've even got some pretty cool paint brushes and paint rollers for art. Pastel pencils, oil pencils, some little spatula things that you guys can use to shape your clay or even using that to mix your paint. Some more clay blocks they've got here. I was very impressed with their art aisle. A massive selection, but the pricing wasn't competitive. Now I sound a little bit stingy, but when I'm going into a dollar shop, I expect things to be cheap like a few dollars here and there. A lot of the things in here were not cheap. For example, the clock that I'll show you guys a little bit towards the end, I wouldn't expect to find a $200 clock at a dollar shop. But I must say, I gotta give them credit for the variety of things they have in here. It's a massive store with so much variety. Look at all the paint and the colors. Some more paint here. Again, more paint. The sewing section wasn't cheap. I was looking for black thread, but I realized it was cheaper for me to get it from Kmart. But again, a bigger variety than Kmart in terms of sewing things and art things. I think every dollar shop in Australia has this little souvenir section. Where you can get little kangaroo toys, little kangaroo keychains, and little Australian flags. The pet section here wasn't great either. It was pretty expensive. Aside from this little plastic fish tank, which was decent. But the dog beds and the dog toys, they were all expensive. But I'll just show you guys around anyways. And we're just about to wrap up this video. I think this is the last clip for the dollar shop tour. And those are the clocks, guys, the expensive ones. Thanks for watching.